Hey, Ben Ahrens here. Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about vagal toning exercises that you can do to basically improve your ability to downshift or downregulate into that parasympathetic function. That's our rest and digest mode. Now, when we talk about vagal tone, you can imagine that there's this sort of baseline level of tension that we all have in our nervous system, right? And for most of us, that baseline is often set a little bit higher than we would like it to be. Now, I'll just start off by saying that tension is not inherently bad. In fact, if we didn't have tension in our nervous system, well, we would just be sort of like a puddle on the floor. So we need some amount of tension to produce force, to stand up straight, to do anything. But sometimes when we accumulate a lot of different stressors or if we've been ill for a long time, that tonic baseline can start to elevate and what we find is that even at our most relaxed state we're not really getting into that deep relaxation fortunately the vagus nerve the 10th cranial nerve that's the longest nerve that runs through the body innervates all of our organs and systems is something that we can actually stimulate physically and in a few ways that i'll show you right now and when we do that it actually acts as this parachute bringing us back down to baseline, like that parasympathetic function, as well as if we practice this on an even semi-regular basis, can start to reset that tonic baseline. So I'm gonna share with you three of my favorite exercises for vagal toning. And the first one is simply humming. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a few rounds of this just the way I like to do it. I was on the plane yesterday. I was doing this on the flight with the engines going, no one could hear it. But this is something that you can do if you're walking down the street in the morning, anytime. And I usually just pick a tone and go for it. So I'll just uh, do some humming. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if I'm <laughs> not out in public, I'll do this with my mouth open. I'll change the shape of my mouth and throat and just sort of, it's really fun actually to experiment with those different tones, those different vibrations, and just tune in and pay attention to how that feels in your, in your neck, in your jaw, and in your body. So that might sound like a little bit of an ohm, so we can go, oh. and go right into a hum. You can join me on this one. Oh. So what's interesting here, what I like about this is that every day the voice sounds a little bit different. It even changes throughout the days. And what we can do is just when you're doing this, approach it like a curious observer. Just tune into and relax into your voice, feel the vibration. And the more we practice this, the more we'll get a resonance going and we'll start to activate that parasympathetic nervous system. Now the second one, again, because the vagus nerve runs laterally down both sides of the neck. We just stimulated it using vibration, but now I'm gonna actually stimulate it manually just with a little bit of massage, right? And what I like to do here is start off just behind the ears. You can feel that bone right behind the ears. And then just work my way down with my fingertips. Ah, almost feeling a little bit of a yawn coming on here. Working my way down the sides of the neck, back up. And as you go back up, you can get into the back of your head a little bit. You can try turning your neck in different angles. Yeah, give yourself a little bit of an adjustment. <laughs> and you might find, like I just started to do there, that a natural yawn or a sigh uh, comes about. And that's a good sign. It basically means that you're changing your pace of breath from a faster breaths per minute rate to a lower breaths per minute rate. So the last one is what's called a physiologic sigh. Right After doing this vagal toning, the humming and the massaging of the vagus nerve down the sides of the neck, you might find that you naturally are inclined to sigh, to yawn. And so that's something that we can accentuate just by taking a deep inhale and going, oh. I'll do this two more times. You can try it with me. Take a deep inhale. Oh. And on this last one, we're gonna bring the arms up to about shoulder level. Let them fall and ah, nice physiologic sigh. 
If you enjoyed this video, you want to get more tips and tricks like this, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out the link below or visit reorigin.com forward slash newsletter to sign up for updates.